Welcome to Obsidian. Let's look at AI text generation with Text Generator. Okay, so g'day guys and welcome back to another Obsidian video. Today we're going to be having a play with artificial intelligence. Um, in Obsidian, you say, well, yes, absolutely. Artificial intelligence is already available in Obsidian and able to do your work for you. Um, and as a form of a, a demonstration, I've just got a simple note here that I've been using for uh, my smithy here over in Shadowdale. Um, let's have a look here. So I've got some keywords that have been set up. I've got, I would like an introduction here. And I'm going to press a keyword of Control Alt J. All right, down here we can see text generator processing. And we just wait. And now we can see Cellguard Smithy is a small family run smithy located in the town of Deepwood in the kingdom of Doran. The business is owned and operated by Selgard, a skilled blacksmith and weaponsmith, and his wife and son. The smithy specializes in the crafting of high quality weapons and armor, and also offers repairs and modifications to existing equipment. Selgard Smithy is one of the few businesses in Deepwood that caters to both the local population and many adventurers who often pass through town. Like, whoa, that just made my life easier. Like, I just got a, a, a full paragraph there to describe this that there's way better than what I'd written previously. All right, and now I can copy that down in here. You can see I had a single right word. I'm going to very easily come here and go, all right, well, it's in Shadowdale. Um, we're gonna replace that in the deep wood. All right, in the Forgotten Realms. All right, now I have a very useful sort of piece of information there. Um, you can see I've got Ron uh, as the original. It might have changed some of the names. So I might need to go through and check it, but let's be honest, like that was quite a useful piece of text that I can now use. You're know, like, how the hell did you do that? Because that's pretty damn cool. And I agree, that is pretty damn cool. Like I'm playing with the artificial intelligence um, images, right? The text to image and the image to image. That's really cool too. Um, but to be able to do text, but not only just be able to do it, but also be able to do it inside of Obsidian directly into your notes, like, wow, that's cool. So how did I do that? Let's go through and show you how it works. It's a plugin, all right? The plugin is called Text Generator. So we're gonna go to settings. We're gonna go to community plugins. All right, we're gonna go browse. All right, I'm on the new version that's not out yet. If you're wondering why mine looks different, this is the, the new version. Uh, we're going to do a search for text generator. All right, we can see text generator here by Nuruddin Harari. Sorry, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, uh, but we can see here it's been downloaded only about a thousand times, so it's actually not that popular yet. Um, but text generator, all right, we can come in here, we can do the install, then the enable, and obviously get an understanding of how it's working. There is a small video here, uh, it's a YouTube video. I do recommend you give this a watch. Um, there's no sort of sound or anything to it. Uh, it does step through the full uh, installation of this before it was available on the actual store. So you can ignore a large chunk of it, but if you get towards the end, it shows it being in use. Okay, so we won't watch that now, but you can go through and, and watch that if you'd like. All right, but if we go down here, the thing you need is the instructions, okay? The instructions are here to show you how to use this. So what do we do? It says you need to generate an OpenAI API key. All right, so we click on OpenAI, and this is a service that this is actually using, okay? So this is a third-party service. Um, you can see here that you've got to log in, so I'm just going to continue with Google. Uh, we'll log into that. Fantastic. I'm now logged in. And when you log into this, you get a free trial, guys, because this is not a free service. All right. Most AIs that I've been playing around with so far, they do get to a point where they start to charge you for using their service because they have a lot of servers crunching the data in the background. And obviously, they're paying for those servers and trying to keep those services available. And obviously, they're using that to invest further into these services to make them better as well. So, you know, it's just the way the, the uh, environment is at the moment. If you are playing with images though, guys, uh, Stable Diffusion is a good one. That's quite free and you can install that locally on your machine and play for free. But uh, I haven't found a free text one just yet. I'm sure they're out there, but this one is using this website here. Um, obviously the plugin text generator is using this one just here. So anyway, once you log into here, basically you create an account and it's gonna give you a free uh, trial. Uh, they give you $18 to play around with um, and basically, you know, I'll just open up the pricing here. 
they're charging you for, I think it's called words or tokens, like tokens are equal to words. So uh, prices are per thousand tokens. You can think of tokens as pieces of words where 1000 tokens is about 750 words. Okay, so this paragraph is 35 tokens. So, you know, you are going to have to pay for it. You know, the prices aren't too expensive. So if you find this useful, obviously it'll be something you need to subscribe to and that'll be for you to decide on whether it's something you want to play with or not. I've, uh, I've only, you know, done the demo so far, um, enjoying just playing around with the idea. And if we go through and have a look, um, I think if I go manage my account and look at my usage, all right, you can see that I've spent three cents today. <coughs> I spent one cent the other day. Excuse me. I'm recovering from a chest infection, so if I cough, I do apologize. I haven't been able to talk for a few weeks. Um, all right, so you can see I've got my $18 trial. You can see I've used four cents so far. So it's not high use, um, but I'm sure as you started to rely on it, you, you'll get up to a point where you start seeing more things. But anyway, if we go back to Obsidian, you'll see create the account. All right, you get the $18 free trial. Click on your account and click on view API keys. So if we go back to here, we go up to your icon or your login screen up top, and you can see view API keys. So I'll click on that. All right, there's a new code. So it's just my secret key, like that's my personal one. I just click copy, that copies it there for me, and then I can paste it in. I will delete this key, guys. Don't try and copy this key, because I will delete it and create a new one straight after I make this video. All right, so then we come back over to here. Uh, we come back to community plugins. We go to text generator. All right, we go to options. And all we have to do is come in here and paste this key. Okay, so we'll paste it in there and close that off. That is now configured. We are now good to go, okay? All right, now settings, we need to go into hotkeys. What I do recommend is you come in here and type text generator, and you can see there's four hotkeys that are in use by this plugin. The two that matter is text generator generate text and text generator generate text using metadata, okay? So you can see Control-J, Control Alt J, they're the pre configured settings. I haven't changed them. There's also some other things here where you can increase and decrease the max tokens. I haven't played with them yet, but my understanding is the more tokens you give something, the better the result is going to be. Okay, so let's go back. We now know our hotkeys. We've got our text. We've done our first thing here. Okay, we're going to now come in here. Uh, we've got a teenage daughter. Uh, well, we've got Traith, who's the daughter and the, the current apprentice. We've got a journeyman apprentice. All right, so let's come in and actually describe um, our son. So, will this work? I'm just going to press Control J. All right, we can see down the bottom right, text generator processing. All right, so Serv was the son of a blacksmith. He was a journeyman apprentice. He worked in his father's forge. So that was a control J, okay? Now I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna press a control alt J. And the difference here is it's now using the front matter, okay? So we've got a title, all right? And we've got some keywords in here. Um, the, the plugin recommends you use these ones here. So AI, AI text assistant helper and test assistant helper. I've added in the keywords fantasy and medieval period because I want it to write about the right period of time. So we're going to see how that goes. So we'll go highlight control alt J. It's now processing. Let's see the difference in the text. Give it a little bit of time. Wow, look at that. So this was the first bit and then this is the new bit. All right, so he's a journeyman apprentice at a local smithy. He's always interested in the art of smithing, has been apprenticing under his father since he was a young boy. Well, that's pretty good. Served as a hard worker and is always eager to learn new techniques. He's always very helpful around the smithy, often lending a hand to his father and the other journeyman. One day while Serd was working on a particular difficult piece, his father came over to him and said, Serd, I think you're ready to start your own shop. Well, good on him. Serd was overjoyed at his news, immediately set to work planning his new business with his father's help. He was able, right? So you can keep going with these things. and. You know, if we highlight that again and do another control lot J, let's see what it does. You can really get some good stuff out of this maybe. Oh, here we go. So he was able to secure a loan at least a small shop in the market square. 
It quickly became known for its high quality weapons and armor. Many of the city guards and soldiers came to serve for their equipment and he soon had more business than he could handle. With his help of his father and his other journeymen, Seb was able to expand his shop and hire more workers. He continued to learn new techniques and develop his craft and his business continued to grow. Today, Sird Smith is one of the most successful businesses in the city and Sird is respected as one of the finest smiths in the land. There you go. Like, I didn't write a thing, obviously didn't think about a thing. I just pressed a hotkey and off it went. Just out of curiosity, uh, let's go and just have a look and see what that cost us. All right, so it oh, looks like we're still at four cents. All right, maybe it takes a little bit to uptick. All right, there we go. Model usage, fine tuning. So there you go, guys. Like, how cool is that, right? You just highlight something and press boom. If you're struggling to get a session together, um, you could, you know, come up with this relatively quickly and get some nice text to describe your articles or your, your notes and your topics and really sort of, you know, spend less time thinking about the details maybe and the fluff factor and spend more time thinking about, you know, just what it is what you want to do. Um, I'm sure this isn't going to be useful in a whole chunk of scenarios, right? If you're after something specific, then you're probably going to need to either carefully train it as you go and make sure you use the right hotkeys that you're highlighting or, you know, you might just need to write it yourself, right? Let's, let's be honest, but that is not bad. Let's be honest. Like for what that wrote there, with a little bit of tweaking, you could make something that sounded relatively good. Um, all right, list of blacksmith wares that are for sale. Let's see what this does. Control Alt J. Just out of curiosity. Can it make us? <laughs> Look, it can too. The things that are for sale here. Swords, daggers, spears, shields, and armor. What services does the blacksmith offer? Control Alt J. The blacksmith offers many services, including smithing, forging, welding, and repairing. Like, and then you just delete your, your prompts. All right, and off you go. <laughs> like, this is pretty cool, guys. Um, I, I can imagine, like, this would be quite useful when I'm, you know, trying to rush through something. I just, you know, creating an NPC or a shop that just I don't want to put too much thought into. There we go. So very, very relatively simple piece. Um, I think your results are going to be wildly varied depending on what it is you're doing and what it is you're setting up. Um, just a note here, like the control J versus control alt J, it is about having this title and the keywords in your metadata. It picks those up and uses it. Um, you can get the formatting, right, as I've written here, or you can have a look at the readme to get the formatting. But it's just about trying to train it. Um, and I reckon you could probably just keep adding keywords in here um, in order to keep training your topic if that's what you want to do to get better results out of it. But, Anyway, guys, have a play with that. Let me know how you think. Um, you know, is this useful? Um, morally, you know, AI's got a bit of a grey area. Um, I don't think that's going away, but at the same time, I don't see AI going away either, right? AI's here to stay. The models are out there now. Um, text to image, image to image, text to text. Like, I, we're, we're standing here at the start of something else, guys. Like AI is starting to become useful for the common person. Um, it's going to have an impact on some, um, some jobs. Yes, I don't see any way around that. Um, but I'm also not going to stick my head in the sand and not have a look at this technology. Um, you know, I'm a tech head. I want to want to explore it. Um, and I know there are people who will look down on anyone who even blinks at this stuff. I'm already seeing it online. Um, you know, there's lines in the sand being drawn. Um, I'm interested in the technology. I'm not an artist in any way, shape or form. I'm not a writer. I'm not a, uh, an artist. Um, and, you know, I, I feel for those people, right, because there's going to be an impact, especially with the images. But then again, with that said, I also have yet to see a uh, AI image that is perfect. So we'll see where the technology goes. I'm watching it with interest because I think it is quite an interesting um, part of, you know, this this century of time, right? Like this is quite fascinating to see happen. I don't want to see Terminators and all that sort of stuff, but if I can see cool pictures of Terminators created by a computer, well, 
that's something else. So anyway, hope you found this interesting. Um, have a play with it. As I said, let me know if it's useful for you. Um, and with that, I will speak to you in the forums, guys. Have a great day. Enjoy.